I'm old school with the motorhome's not out front because Al took it up to Tahoe, but normally we're in that and we're driving the business. We're driving out, seeing our customers shake their hands, give them some shoes, and then take care of two or 300 customers that day by barbecue and giving them some free swag, compliments of whatever store we're at. That's just what we do. Yeah. And you know, treat people like you want to be treated and treat your employees like you want to be treated. I believe that for vans, our heritage fuels the progression. So progression happens 365 days a year here, year in and year out. And we continue to move forward, not only with our classic silhouettes and what we show people around those, being current and modern, but even in the performance of our skateboarding shoes. But coming from that platform of authenticity and our heritage allows us to progress in a really meaningful way. There's a lot of history that you have to take into account and, and you're loyal to it and it helps you, uh, you know, think about what to do, like how to take this thing and, and evolve it. Um, but it's also like a really good base because Vans was, um, Vans has always been a company that um, was really loyal to the, the, the lifestyle. You know, the people that supported Vans had the, the most support from Vans, whether it was skateboarders or, or surfers or or whoever. If you wanted to really break down Vans, the difference between Vans and any other brand is that culture adopted Vans. So like the SAs would wear slip-ons, the skaters would wear old schools, the surfer dudes would wear the authentics, you know what I mean? And you had these different groups of people that would associate the product with who they were and it was a very natural thing. So you have this brand that has the ability to touch all these different subcultures and yet we never marketed to them. There's a lot of variety there. You know, there's a lot of cultures and stories we can tell. Apart from the board sports, just on a, on, a, on a subcultural lifestyle level, we can tell lifestyle stories as well. So we have the ability to sort of flex uh, dep depending on which direction we want to go in. And Vans has a lot of history to kind of go back and bring out. And, um, and every time you bring it out, it kind of puts it in a new light and it almost adds a, a new ch like chapter of, this, of the history of that, of that classic product. We need to continually uh, research our past, understand where we come from, and think of new ways to reinterpret that for the future. So new classics, what do new classics look like? When we hire new people, I always tell them, take time to learn this place because it's much different than first impressions. So we think about ourselves as a brand that's not about making sneakers. We're a brand about supporting creative self-expression. Vans is based in like a lot of the creative elements that revolve around skating and bikes and surfing and snowboarding and this thing. So whether it's music or art or photography or these different kinds of things, designing things yourself, being like, you know, we have a we have probably more people on our team that make their own surfboards or like actually work with their shaper hands on to like design the prototypes that they're gonna ride <clears throat> than any other company. So like People that are creative and multi-dimensional, both in and out of the water, is like key for us. I've worked at other brands and they had athletes that were really hard to approach and it was just kind of an unspoken rule that you're not supposed to talk to them. And at this brand, you can talk to any of those guys. It's a family. I remember I started my first day, or no, before I started at Vans, I saw Tony Alva at a taco stand. I said, dude, I just got a job there. I'm psyched, I wanted to say hi. And uh, he's like, it's like a family down there. You come to work at a brand because of the brand, typically. I think you stay in a job and you stay in a, in a career or on a career path because of the people. And uh, Vans has always felt more like a family. We have a lot more people at this company than we did when I started. And, and it's tough to make it feel like a family sometimes, but I think we really try hard to, to kind of infuse that into everything we do. We've got guys that have been here for a long, long time that have just grown up with a company. I'm an example of that for sure. You know, starting as an intern and then being a director of footwear and product management has been a great 16-year kind of just grow with the company type vibe. And man, it's just, you love it. I mean, you know, what's great I think about everybody that comes to work here, you're really embracing your passion. Everyone really puts their heart and soul into it because you, you believe in it beyond just like a job. It's more of your, your whole life is wrapped up in the fabric of vans and 
you know, we all we all came here for a reason. You know, we wanted to live creative lifestyles, and we wanted to kind of embrace a passion for, for our work. You know. We don't try to be something we're not. So, um, a lot of people that work here, you know, live those live in the world, whichever world it may be. Whether it be the guys here who live in the art world, you know, on a regular basis, and are more more artists and just happen to be an employee of Vans. Um, certainly, our our connections to music for from years and years and years of of being involved with the Warped Tour 19, 20 years ago and the early punk scene, etc., and having those guys still involved with the brand, to the you know certainly still having people like Tony Alva and Steve Cab and Christian Asoy and others actively involved with the brand. Um, they they talk about this brand as a family as well. So having those guys around all the time, they help steer us. Um, that's a big part of it. And then I think it's just honest conversation. You know, we have all these events, we have all these athletes, musicians, etc. And we just talk to them all the time. And we've been lucky enough to be involved with so many amazing people's lives. And a lot of people come and knock on our door and say, hey, we want to work with you guys. And that's, that's really what makes it special. It's just free flow, honest, authentic dialogue about things that are important to us and things we care about. This brand means a lot to me. Um, to be able to see my kids grow up with the brand that I grew up with is, is, is really, really cool. Uh, I'm, I'm from California, so the tie to, to California and, and having that be a brand I grew up with in my own backyard is, is it's, it's an immense joy for me to, to be working here. To me, Vans is, is one of the most iconic brands in the world, straight up. I mean, it's right up there with Cadillac, Coca-Cola, Walt Disney, Apple Computers. Um, because it stands for something. It stands for something beyond just the clothes and the shoes. It's, uh, it, it really is Southern California youth culture. It's action sports, it's creativity. And those are, those are important concepts, man. And I think when you sit back and you think about those ideas that people have in their mind, like Vans comes to mind right away for me. You know, that's one of the reasons why I'm still here and I want to be here for a long time is because I can't really think of any other brand that that I could connect with and, and all those touch points that, you know, move me like that. Um, and you can sense that it's just gonna get bigger. Keeping the Van Doren spirit alive is something we talk about a lot. Obviously, uh, when, when Steve Van Doren's in the, anywhere in the mix, it gets pretty lively and, and pretty fun. And, and Steve has more energy than, than the rest of the building combined. I think the biggest thing that Steve you know, sort of taught all of us, and I, I know came from his dad as well, which was, you roll up your sleeves and you just do it. You, what your title is, what your job is, it doesn't matter. Everyone just gets involved and makes it happen, and that could be sweeping floors, that could be setting up a display at a shop, um, that could be stoking out kids by giving out free t-shirts at some event. You just pitch in and do it, and Steve's, Steve inspires that. It's like he doesn't think anything of saying to someone, hey, need to go do this. I mean, he's grilling hot dogs himself at every event. Um, that's the spirit here, and I think it's, it's pretty dominant as soon as you're here, and you feel that there's this energy around no one's better than any other person. There's no hierarchy of, well, I'm the president, so I don't speak to these people. Um, it doesn't work that way here. The Van Doren spirit is about, we're just a family, and in the family, you all support each other, you all feel bad when someone's hurt, you all step forward and admit your problems or your mistakes. So I think that's a big part of what makes this place so dynamic, and I really believe it's what's fueled our success, because it's what makes us so different than other brands. My dad's old philosophy with his uh, partners and stuff is they cared about people. And people worked with him. We went into chapter 11. For three years, he told everybody, I can't give you a raise. Bring in pencils because I can't afford pens. You know what? Everybody took it to themselves, took it upon themselves and said, hey, I want to work for this company. We're going to get out of this mess. And we did. We got out of it. We would not have a company today if we didn't go through all these things for 25 years with my dad as partners because you wouldn't have the job today, you know, because we prevailed and kept it going. And that's what kind of drives me to, you know, the young people of today. You gotta pay some dues. You gotta earn your keep. You gotta do why we're still going on, you know? You gotta go and be a part of something.